Hey to all y'all mindsetters, welcome back to the Music Mindset channel, where we explore the magic of music and the stories behind timeless classics. This is Voice Man, and today we delve into the funky world of James Brown's Get Up, I Feel Like Being a Sex Machine. Get ready for an electrifying journey as we uncover the little known secrets and fascinating facts behind this funk anthem. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating music explorations. Now, let's turn back the clock to 1970, the year that saw the birth of a funk classic that would leave an indelible mark on the world of music. It's a household song, especially in America. The inspiration for the iconic bass line came from a conversation between James Brown and bassist Bootsy Collins, where they discussed how sex could be like a machine. This chance encounter led to the creation of one of the most sampled bass lines in hip-hop and R&B history. Did you know that this funky song was recorded in just one take? Yep, as hot as this song sounds, it was done and packed up basically on the first try. The spontaneous energy captured in the studio contributed to the song's raw and powerful sound, making it a funk anthem that still moves audiences to this day. During the recording session, the word machine was accidentally dropped from the title. Thus, Get Up I Feel Like a Sex Machine became the iconic Get Up I Feel Like Being a Sex Machine instead. James Brown's collaboration with the ever-funky Bootsy Collins and the JB's backup band played a significant role in shaping the song's distinctive sound. They had j Starks on drums, and he created the unforgettable funky beat. And Phelps Catfish Collins, Bootsy's brother, was the man playing those iconic guitar licks. Then the brass and reed section of Clayton Gunnels, Daryl Jameson, and Robert McCullough topped it off with those well-remembered horn hits. And then you had the call and response vocal interplay with Brown that was done by Bobby Burke, which consisted mostly of hypes to get up, stay on the scene, like a sex machine. And let it be noted that during the song's final vocal passages, Brown and Bird started to sing the main hook of Elmore James Blue's classic Shake Your Money Maker. Know that all of their collective talent and chemistry infused the recording with an undeniable and never dying funk spirit. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the studio chatter that was left in the final mix. James Brown shouted, Shucks, can I count it off? That added an authentic touch reminding us of the excitement of a live performance. The original version of this song was released as a two-part single in 1970, and it was a number two R&B hit and reached number 15 on the Billboard Hot 100 that year. The success of this hit solidified James Brown's status as the hardest working man in show business. His boundless energy and passion for performing reverberated through the track, captivating audiences around the world. The Sex Machine album is often considered to be one of the greatest and most important funk records of all time, and arguably the high point of Brown's creative heyday from 1967 to 1971. It was ranked first in Spin Magazine's 25 Greatest Albums of All Time in 1989, and 96th in a 2005 survey held by British Television's Channel 4 to determine the 100 Greatest Albums of All Time. Beyond its immediate success, the song's influence endured through the decades. Its infectious groove and bass line have been sampled and covered by numerous artists, keeping the funk spirit alive in modern music. No matter who or where you're from, you must have heard this classic funk masterpiece at some point in your life. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock. James Brown's song not only shaped funk music, but also influenced the work of the group Parliament Funkadelic, showcasing the song's lasting legacy in the funk rock fusion genre. Now as we celebrate and praise this funk anthem, we invite you to explore its long-lasting impact on the world of music. From the soulful vocals to the rhythm that makes you want to dance, Get Up continues to be a timeless masterpiece. Hey y'all, thank you for joining us on this funky adventure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow music enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more captivating musical journeys on the Music Mindset channel. Until next time, keep the funk alive and let the power of every kind of music guide your soul. This has been Voice Man for the Music Mindset channel signing off.